Hello, my dear friends. When you want to sell good, you have to tell your story. When you want to convince someone, you have to be good in storytelling. This storytelling is spreading all over the marketing stuff and not only there. And this is a good reason to reflect on it a little in an unconventional way. There are so many rules that you have to do, 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 do. But you can take it easy. You can make it comfortable. We know stories since we were a child. We were a baby. We loved stories. Everybody loves stories. <laughs> yes. So let's deepen this in this video. The story. Why is the story so magic? Because this goes so deep in our childhood. We are trained when we listen to a story, we are convinced that this is real. There's a magic behind the story because when we listen to a story, we think this is news, this is information, something real happened and therefore we are trusting. And when we offer our trust, then this person already gained a lot. We are trusting the story, the person, and the person already got our trust. When we listen to the story, we think this is true. And the person who said is not a liar, he said the truth. This is it. This is the foundation because we believe the story is true. And what makes us to believe that this story is true? This could be any story. It's not about the story. It's not about the person. It's not about the situation. It's more about the story is presented. As we know it from music, the sound makes the music. It's not the music itself. It's not the composition. When you play the composition bad, everybody will run away. But when you play it good, everybody wants to listen until the end. And the same goes with the story. So when we share a story, what is the sound? The sound is our voice. This means you should have control over your voice because your voice is the instrument and before you speak you have to be aware and clear about your breathing because without the right breathing there's no good voice and you can't be a singer and you don't learn to breathe you should be in a flow with your breathing and this creates your natural voice. Not a high voice, not a cheap voice. Just a natural voice, a good sounding voice, a voice that seems real. Whatever you say with this voice seems real because the voice seems real. So it's not the information that you share. When people believe in your voice and when they feel your voice is natural. Then they also believe what you are saying. The sound makes the music. The voice makes the story. The voice makes the perfect singer. And to create the right voice, the right words, you also should have a good imagination. Like the Zen master. The Zen master is the thing, is the situation. So when you are talking a story, you have to be the story. You really have to be the story. When you share the story, people really 
want to know that this happened with you. So you have to be the actor, like an actor in a film. It seems so real. It seems he is the murderer. He is the gardener. He is the pilot. It is so real. When you are the story, therefore we need a good imagination. We have to grasp all the emotion of the story. Whatever story it is, when you inhale the story and then share it with your words, could be quick, could be slow, with your natural voice. This seems so natural. This seems so true that people believe it. And when people give you their trust, you gained everything. So the best way is choose a story you like that fits to you, to the person, to the situation. Get clarity upon your breathing. And then talk as if this happened in your life over and over and over. And then people want to listen to your story. They can't get enough. And when they believe in you, you gain the most beneficial thing at all. Confidence. Yes. So now you can reflect on this. Make your storytelling studies. Practice your storytelling in front of the mirror. Try to convince yourself. <laughs> And when you know how to convince yourself, try to convince your girlfriend, your wife, your children, your neighbor. And when you are good at this, then tell the story to the client. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. It was a pleasure that you followed this video until the end. And yeah, let's see what you want to share. I'm eager to read your comments. And I would say, let's meet us in one of my other videos.